and I'm like, oh, okay, I wanted that color. I wanted that nice deep wine color. On my lips, it was like a fuchsia. Hello, beautiful. Today we will be looking at the new Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Pencils. If you would like to see how these lip pencils perform, if you'd like to see if they are worth picking up, if they really are so much better than all of the other amazing lip pencils out there. Overall, if you would just like to know how these lip pencils perform, what they look like, then just keep watching because we are going to cover all of that in today's video. I love making beauty product review videos for you and I also love trying out new makeup like this stuff here. So if you're also into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, if you are a fan of makeup by Mario, make sure to like this video so we can see who here is a makeup by Mario fan. Is that, should I say that? Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into this video. These are the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencils. These lip pencils are dual sided with a brush on the other end for blending and blurring the color into the lip. They come in 12 matte shades and retail for $22. They claim to be creamy, comfortable, and add effortless definition. These also claim to be universal shades that are meant to define, sculpt, and shape the lips to create a fuller looking palette. Lastly, they are vegan and cruelty free. The first shade we're trying is Hugh, which is a pinky nude. So I tried using Mario's technique where you overline the cupid's bow and underneath the lip only. It didn't really work out for me. I think it has something to do with either my technique or this color. Overall, I wasn't a huge fan of this color, especially on its own. So I went ahead and I tried pairing some Fenty lipsticks over it. It still didn't work. But I'm pretty sure with the right lipstick, um, this, this would be a good color. But on its own, it just wasn't very flattering on me. The next shade we're trying is Lauren, which is a rich mauve. Here I am again trying to overline my cupid's bow and I'm also going to overline my bottom lip only in the center and then on the outside I don't overline it, I just stay on the line. So this was a technique that I learned from Mario. However, I had a really hard time doing this. It just didn't look right. Also, the color kept bleeding outside of my lips, so I constantly had to clean it up. Again, on its own, this color was not flattering on me. I tried to pair it with a mauve lipstick on top, and it just didn't work out. The next shade is Neil's, which is a bright neutral red. Here is another attempt at me trying to do the Mario lip technique. I'm also using the brush here to blend in the color. And I'm also using the brush to clean up the lips with a concealer. So as you can see, the very top of my lip where my cupid's bow at, is at, it just looks kind of weird and I wasn't able to fix it. And this one actually paired really nicely with my M Cosmetics red lipstick. Now we're trying Kelly, which is a rich wine shade. Now, this is where I realized that the shades in person are not identical to the shades on the website. I was really hoping this was going to be a rich wine color, but instead it looked like a bright fuchsia. The second to last shade that we're trying is called Travis, and this is a milk chocolate brown. It's almost identical to the Ultra Suede lipstick in shade Garth. So I went ahead and paired it with Garth, and it turned out nicely. The last shade we're trying is Jeff, which is an intense deep brown. This shade looks identical to the shade Maurice in the Ultra Suede lipsticks. So of course I paired them together. This one was probably my favorite shade. However, on the website, the shades do appear to be deeper and darker. Now onto the review. I have to say I'm a little disappointed in these lip liners. Overall, I was expecting a lot more. I think we have finally hit that video where I am reviewing a new product that I'm just not a huge 
fan of. So first, before I get into the cons, let me first talk about the pros. I actually do like that these are more of like a pencil form rather than a retractable. I don't have much experience with lip liners, but I just feel like the pencils perform a little bit better. I feel like they're a little bit easier to use. And obviously you can get them a lot sharper than with a true with retractable pencils. It has this texture to where you can kind of make it perform the way you want. It sounds confusing. I do feel like the lip liners have a little bit of that blurring soft focus technology like the lipsticks do. And I do really like that, especially if I find a color that I really like. These lip liners do blend out very nicely, so you can definitely use this as an all over shade. I do also like the texture. There's like some creaminess to it, but it still has a little bit of that stiff feel so that it doesn't just like, whoosh, it doesn't just like wash over your lip. Like it doesn't just like glide on like it's butter. There's still a little bit of that traction so you can get in there and create more of a precise line around your lips. So now let's get into the cons. First of all, my biggest con is the colors. The colors are not identical to the website. I bought these specific colors thinking that I would be able to wear them alone. I honestly wanted my lips to look like the model's lips where they, it doesn't even look like they have lipstick on. It looks like they just took the lip liner and blended it out. The color does not look identical. So I'm very disappointed in that, especially because the Makeup by Mario lipsticks are almost identical to the model's lips. But I also feel like that's very common for lip liners, that the colors you see online are not identical to the colors you get in person, especially when it comes to browns. It's also incredibly like not beginner friendly. As you can see in the beginning when I first started trying out these lip liners, I don't know. I just honestly feel like I'm doing something wrong. I never use lip liners, but I want to start using them because they look so good in pictures. And I was really trying to achieve that, but I wasn't able to. So it makes me just think that like it's not beginner friendly. And these especially are not beginner friendly. I don't know. Like I literally was trying to do the exact same thing that Mario did in his tutorials. And I just couldn't get it to look like how he got it to look like. You know, it does have that creamy texture. And as I was like constantly applying it and removing it, it, it honestly felt like it did kind of start to bleed around this area. Um, and I did have to clean it up with con some concealer. I feel like because it has that creamy texture slash matte texture, like the creaminess might make it bleed just a little bit. However, if it was just complete matte, like, for example, the NYX lip liners, then I definitely do not see that bleeding. But like I said, the fact that this does have like a creamy consistency to it, I do feel like it could bleed a little bit. Although it does come with a brush, Mario was saying that you can take the brush and clean up the outside of your lip with some concealer. But I found that I wasn't really able to do that because I always felt like I needed to take the brush and feather out and blend out the lip liner. Like I just really didn't feel comfortable with leaving the lip liner alone. I really felt like with each shade, I had to go and blend out the color. So I ended up using the brush on every single one of them. I guess I could have just used one of the brushes. So yeah, you can use the brush to like clean up your lips, but realistically, you're not really gonna do that. You're gonna use the brush to clean up your lip and also to smear out the product um, onto your lip. Another thing is that I feel like I can blend it out so much better with my fingers. It does have a bit of that creamy consistency, so I can just go in with my finger and blend it out. I honestly don't feel like the brush is necessary. Yes, it does help to kind of blend it out and give it that soft look, but after I went in with my finger and blended it out, I kind of feel like my finger performed a little bit better. No, it's not super drying. Like right now, it doesn't feel dry on my lips at all, but it does have a little bit of that matte feel. And again, I did apply lipstick over my lips right now. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like I would claim it to be hydrating. I don't feel like I would put that in the description. It's not as drying maybe as other lip liners, but I just don't feel like I would t like say that it's hydrating because it doesn't necessarily feel um, that hydrating it does have a little bit of that matte texture and I just I don't I mean I don't really know what's going on I exfoliated my lips today and I wore a lip mask but it still really brought out the dryness out of my lips overall that was a lot of cons that I had but I think the two biggest things for me is that one it was very difficult for me to work with I was 
really trying to make these work because I was really excited for them. I wanted to wear them exactly how the models had in the pictures. I wanted to just wear the lip liner alone on its own, but I was not able to do that. Even with the deepest shade that I have right now, which this shade is probably my favorite, I still wasn't able to do that. Like I felt like, no, I needed to apply something on top. So I'm not saying that you're not able to achieve that. I think what I'm saying is that it's just not beginner friendly. Like you might have to have experience with applying lip liners. Like if someone were wanting a lip liner and just starting to experiment with lip liners, I would not recommend these. And in fact, I'd probably recommend the NYX lip liners. And with that said, I, I really like the NYX lip liners. The colors are amazing. The browns are really true browns. They're pigmented. They're very easy to work with, and I just, I mean, they're a lot, a lot cheaper. These are expensive lip liners, and I just don't feel like I got a whole lot out of it compared to like a NYX lip liner. Um, it is cool that it does have that creamy texture, even though it's a matte, whereas like the NYX just are matte. But as far as like the way it looks, I cannot say there's like a huge, huge difference other than the fact that you can get a little bit of that blurring soft focus effect. But even then, I don't feel like that's worth the price of these lip liners. And then lastly, um, the other biggest con is the colors. I'm really disappointed at how off the colors were, especially the wine color. I was applying it and I'm like, why did I get this color? And then I looked on the website and I'm like, oh, okay, I wanted that color. I wanted that nice deep wine color. On my lips, it was like a fuchsia. I gotta say, I don't think I would recommend these. Maybe if you are a professional, I, I, I'm looking forward to hearing what other people have to say about this lip liner and seeing how other people use this lip liner. Maybe it's more for experienced people out there. But um, for me, I just, I don't feel like it's worth it. I, I mean, it's really expensive and I think you're better off just getting something from the drugstore for a lip liner. Highly, highly recommend the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede lipsticks, but I don't necessarily recommend these lip liners. I was also really hoping to be able to like use these with the lipsticks. So we'll see how this one performs throughout the day. We'll see if it actually makes this lipstick long lasting because the lipsticks actually are not that long lasting after you eat and stuff like that. The lip, the lipstick does start to disappear. It leaves a little bit of a stain. Um, so we'll see if the lip liner helps to make the lipstick last a little bit longer. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe because I am here reviewing new makeup all the time here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.